What up, gang? Welcome back to another episode on the Weston Smith channel. Today, we are joined by Fishing with Becca and Fishing Grubs down from up north, man. And the episode is sponsored by Catch Co. We'll tell you more about it in just a minute. Let's get on it. We don't mind y'all fishing. It's just that y'all can't do it from this uh, point of... Uh, okay. So y'all can go to the like bridge right there, or y'all can be on that side of the property, and we okay. can't say anything. Yeah. There we go. Is that a broken rod? Yeah, yeah that's courtesy of fishing with Becca. I, yep, I, just throw your stuff on it. You didn't have to tell me, Weston. I <laughs> we just picked up Todd, who is uh, best friends with Becca over here, and somehow she convinced him to fly down to Texas, almost get wrecked on the landing, it sounds like. Comment yes, your uh, flying horror stories down below. And we're going to try and do some fishing before sunset. It's currently 6 o'clock, but the time change just happened the other night, so we do have another couple hours probably to fish. And so I'm kind of like multitasking on fish brain. Not while I'm driving, though. Becca was actually looking at fish brain yes. for me, finding the spots <laughs> while I'm getting ready to exit the airport. Hello, sir. How Hi. are you? Good. Uh, ticket in here or hand it to you? Cash or credit card? Uh, cash. Pulled up a little farther, didn't I? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> just a little. We'll be okay. Two. Thank you. Gates are open, y'all. Thank you. That dude's got a dope name. Rajen. Ra Rajendra. Ra I was. He does have a dope name. But that place that we went to last night, I feel like we should go to right now and just. Last it. night? Well. It's a little ways away though. Yeah, but I don't think we need that much time to fish there and not because we'll catch fish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let's go, okay. Okay. All right, y'all, so we just rolled up to the pond. I'm gonna quickly take you guys through the Guggen Squad and Catch Co Collaboration Mondo Kit Dangler Edition. And I'm gonna be throwing these baits to catch some hogs tonight. Let me run you through what is inside the box. Inside of this bad boy, we have got a little juicy. That is right, the finesse jig. This is black and blue color, perfect for mixed clarity water. You can definitely throw this in stained water and catch their attention a little bit more with that darker outline than a natural color. But I've also fished these in clear water and had good luck. So a versatile jig that comes inside of the dangler box here. We also have a zinger. That is right, y'all, a spinnerbait in shad color, which I believe they're going to smack at this location. I might tie this thing on first. It should be getting hits. Uh, it's got a lot of drag with the blades right there that spin in action really catches these bass eye especially when it's windy or if you're fishing stained water this is an absolute staple you can kind of play with the the depth on this bait which is great depending on how quickly you reel so the spinner bait very versatile I think we're gonna get some catches on it we also have some five aught hammer hooks for your T rigs and uh, something like a weightless wacky no it wouldn't be a wacky rig some fluke style baits etc and then we also have a little crank in here check this guy out this is a mini banger probably also catch a ton of fish on this guy in this spot right here so we're just gonna go ahead and fish these things tonight you even get a sticker in the box let's see if we can't rake them up you guys happy to have you all in town all right y'all dangler kit let me tell you some let me tell you some we are about to make the first cast but before we do i just want to take time to mention the fact that i'm using a go-to guggen squad rod which you can get for a discount on guggensquad.com with code Weston. And this will actually accommodate every single bait in the box from the mini banger, the zinger, those hooks in your uh, smaller Texas rigs, gonna be perfect on a go-to rod. And what was the last thing in there? It will definitely work on this thing as well. It was the, why am I forgetting? The little juicy. That little juicy is also going to be fantastic on the go to rod. So, if you're in the market for a new rod, check out the go to rod, you guys. Seven foot, medium heavy, fast action. One of the best all purpose rods on the market. I'm going to go ahead and make the first cast now. Got to try and show the group up, except for Grubs over here. We got to make sure he gets on some Texas fish. There's like, there's some action out there. In case I get questions, I'm just going to go ahead and point out I'm using a Metanium DC reel, and I'd say this is about 15 pound fluorocarbon, kind of my general all purpose line. <laughs> Should be able to crank just about anything out of here. Although I will say I've caught some decent fish here. Most times it is numbers and we catch a handful, but uh, with these calm conditions and next to bluebird skies, I don't know, maybe the bite's gonna be a little slower this evening. Oh, she's on, there we go. Like next cast. I was gonna try and knock one out on the spinner bait, but they don't seem to be biting it as much. She just pulled one in on the cinnamon lunker log dudes. That's all, you gotta get that out of the way first. Todd saying that Becca always catches the first fish. He says now I can catch one. <laughs> just gotta let her. Just gotta get let her get one on the bank, and then it's fair game. No, she's throwing a weightless Texas rig like Lunker Log. Oh God, dang! That's good. Got my line stuck in a tree. It's probably frayed up. Ah, she'll be okay. Instead of force feeding them into a moving bite, I feel like they're chilling at the moment. I'm gonna break out a hammer hook and see if Becca will lend me one of her cinnamon lunker logs 
Oh, she had another. See, that's the way to go. These are five aughts, so they should work with uh, most any of your Guggen baits except for the junior sizes. I'm sure you can get away with the uh, Bandito bugs, Crack and Crawls, Lunker Logs, Trench Hogs on this guy right here, as well as just about anything else you'd want to throw. If you're throwing those junior sizes, you might just go to like a, a, a two aught hammer hook. My general kind of like all purpose go to has been a four aught for most things. We got a beefy hook right here, so we're going to have to set it pretty good when we get those bites. Make sure it penetrates because it's that thicker gauge, right? It's not just a small little treble hook that kind of sinks in real easy so you really got to get a good hook set on these hammer hooks drive it home palomar knot is tied oh you're going with the five inch too for more hits tell you what becca brought all the northerner stuff i like only throw the six inch <laughs> so y'all oftentimes when you're throwing a weightless worm you might be throwing a wacky rig on like a spinning combo but we're gonna go with the bait caster setup so i'm gonna just rig it up like a texas rig but without a weight on here which is great when there's a ton of grass like this and you don't want to necessarily get caught down in there but want to stay just above it i'm just going to be popping this nice and slow seems to be getting the job done so text bows that hook so hopefully i'm not catching as much grass and catching more bass so we can fish this yeah. over there Bust up this can't. is actually private property. It's okay. for the corporate facility. And like I told, what's your name? Becca. Miss uh, Becca here. We we don't mind y'all fishing. It's just that y'all can't do it from this uh, point of. Uh, okay. So y'all can go to the like bridge right there. Or I'm going to tell y'all the cameras that they have in these yeah. buildings are ridiculous. Oh my gosh. <laughs> We're all <laughs> Okay, well, <laughs> well, maybe we'll try this bridge or something. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. She know I told her we popped it right there and she said it was fine. You are so lying to me. You are <laughs> lying to me. There we go. First cast on this side. Oh, I was about to say, that's what happens when you get the boot. You get kicked over to where the better fish are. <laughs> wow, so we just got kicked out and booted over to another spot where we got a fish first cast. Well, a bite first cast, I should say. Oh, oh no. We suck. Why? We just did the same thing. Except I didn't end up in a tree. <laughs> Becca's freaking professional. <laughs> Welcome to Texas, Todd. He's fishing. There's another body of water on that side, and I, I guarantee you, he thinks he, he found something super unique. He's not bad. There we go. Go to Rod Lunker Log. Thank you, Becca, for the free cinnamon. <laughs> Pretty sharp. First one of the night out of the dangler kit. And would you look at that? It's on the hammer hooks. I think we're just gonna keep throwing a weightless rig for a little while, you guys, because in all honesty, they weren't going after the moving bait. Becca got a handful of bites on this and the jig might just be a little too heavy getting in the grass. So this weightless rig is absolutely perfect. Right off the wall. There we go, nice one. Just by the tree over there. He grabbed it and started darting off with it. See you later. Got him. There we go. Good one. Nice. <laughs> Got a good one. Right there by the tree, saw him swirl on it. As soon as it hit the water, he had to be the first one to eat it. Probably some competition over there. Might get another cast in that same spot. Definitely the biggest fish of the night. And it's on that cinnamon lunker log yet again, man. I would almost get the kit just for these hooks, dude. This is killer. Thank you, Catch Co. There we go. Nothing swirled on it right off the bat. I might have spooked everything else over there, but that was a nice little fish tucked away in the same type of area as that last one. Along the wall by these trees. Kind of just a little pattern tonight. Next day you fish here, it'll be completely different. Becca and I have already fished here once since she's been in town and it was like moving bite only, but they kind of proved they didn't want to eat the spinner bait. And so just breaking out something nice and slow, a little bit more finesse tactics and it seems to be working. Check this out, you guys. This is something you don't see at every pond. We have some fish food right here. Watch this. I wonder if we can get, I wonder, oh, is there none in here? There we go, there we go, there we go. Watch this. Let's see if we can get some bait fish, some bluegill to come up to the surface and eat this. And if some little bluegill get fired up, the bass will follow. Let me just get a little cast out there right past where I threw the fish food in. I'm almost positive what just like went crazy for it was a bluegill. Look, now they're starting to hit the surface, you guys. Oh, there's a turtle. Dude, the whole gang is here. Oh, that might have been a bass. Getting hits, look. Oh my gosh. And I 
They're fierce. They're fierce. He's got it. He's got it. Oh God. Dude, they're everywhere. Oh my God. Frenzy. Frenzy. Look, the bait are coming through. Oh my God. They are going after the fish food. Look, 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 look. Frenzy, get in there. Get in there. There could be some that are going after the gill. These are bigger hits now. Guys, I'm going to break out another item out of the Mondo kit. Now that we're seeing bluegill come over here and eat that fish food, I'm going to throw the bait that looks the most like a bluegill. In fact, it's uh, the ghost gill color. The little mini banger. This could be perfect. It would be... This is not ideal for the area we started in because there's so much grass. But if you're fishing from this bridge, I've got an open water scenario where I can afford to have this thing dive down a couple feet and it won't catch anything. Uh, well, it won't catch any grass. <laughs> little bluegill bait might just get hit. Look, 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 the fish are going crazy. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. First Texas bass, they're hitting, they're hitting. Fishing Grub's got his first Texas bass. Let me see this thing. Chunk. Nice one, dude. Little, little baby chunk. Yes, sir. Yo. Chunk to be. <laughs> Moving bait? Stout. Chatterbait. Chatterbait. I threw it right in the. Oh my gosh. Right in the bar. I want to congratulate him, but I also want to get these fish right here because they're on fire. <laughs> they're on fire. Some people would call this cheating. You understand. I'm trying so hard, and these bass only want the pellets. <laughs> Someone's got to want a little ghost kill out here. Come on. I am going to try everything in this box. I am determined. The Mondo Kit Dangler. Let's bust out the little juicy. This is going to be the last bait in the box. I don't really even have any trailers on me at the very moment, I don't believe. Like, you, you know, you might use like a bandito bug or a cracking crawl, just any sort of crawl or creature trailer on your jigs typically. And unless I've got something in my bag here, with this box, they supply you with the necessities and leave uh, the trailers and stuff up to your discretion. Here we go. We got some Bama bug cracking crawls that I think are going to match up very nicely with the skirt. So we actually do have something for this little juicy jig and you'll see i'm going to shorten up that crawl so that it's not overpowering the size of this jig and it'll fit just right becca literally just got another fish by the way i forget what she's throwing but this is the quarter ounce black and blue little juicy got a nice brush guard so you shouldn't be catching too much grass on it pretty powerful hook sets that way that brush guard kind of falls down and that hook penetrates and you bring those fish in a completely different presentation from anything we've thrown tonight on the bottom a nice little skirt this will be great this could represent a bluegill as well as a crawfish uh, it's going to imitate a lot of the forage that these bass are feeding on in the water here so yeah so this june bug is going to pair nicely just a dark color goes well with black and blue obviously if you have black and blue you just want to rig that up and keep it simple but this is what we're dealt with tonight now when i use these little juicies these finesse jigs i like to tear that crack and craw down one section so it will fit better on this jig you really just want those pinchers to kind of be just past the skirt so this is going to be ideal let me show you how you can kind of match this up and figure out where you're going to need to come out of the body with the hook so that it lines up just right afterwards so i'm going to feed this on there and right about where it looked like i needed to come out of the body i'm going to come out right there and then we're going to push that plastic up on to the keeper. There's a keeper at the top there. That way your plastic's not just getting ripped off every bite you get. And there you have it, y'all. That craw just, those pinchers still have room to move freely just below the skirt. Exactly what you're looking for. And this is so awesome, guys. I mean, literally, it's such a sensitive rod. You know when you've got a hit on those little weightless baits. You know when you've got a hit on the jig. It's nice and stout, yet it has that fast action tip that actually works well with even those crankbaits. It's got just enough give so that you can work those treble hooks without completely just ripping them out of the fish's mouth because you're using like an extra fast tip rod. So you've got amazing versatility. Perfect for the spinner baits. I mean, this is there's a reason they call it the go-to rod. So grab one of these for yourself if you are newer to the game and unsure of what single rod to get if you only went bank fishing with one rod this is the one you'd want to carry with you and that of course goes for your favorite brand just a seven foot medium heavy fast action rod is going to be your fantastic all-purpose setup so don't think you got to get a Guggen squad rod just because I'm using it but that of course is what I love to rock and Becca is on again she is just killing it I mean I haven't wow and she's throwing a lipless so I just untied a crankbait and she's getting all the hits on a crankbait now I hooked another one. Whatever. Oh! Oh, West! <laughs> I think it was a bluegill. It went boop, boop, boop. Look, it got a pincher. Oh! They'll hit it. Does he have it? It's a little bluegill. Oh my god, he's going crazy for it. Yeah. Got him. Oh! That was a good one. A little juicy. One pincher. Don't, I don't have time to put a new crawl on here, y'all. Got him. Yeah. There we go. There we go, guys. Got a good one. A little juicy. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. 
one and three quarters maybe this one's a little plump this one's actually kind of fat Dude, it looks just like the one i caught really they're like short hey. bunch of chunks to me <laughs> this is so dope man <laughs> Getting out with grubs for the first time, and he's on his first Texas bass out here, dudes. I mean, it does not get much better. Right off the flight, too. Sick. Oh, and that is with one pincher, ladies and gentlemen. Look, don't get discouraged if you get uh, eaten by some bluegill. All right, y'all, we're going to try and finish strong and go back to the moving bait now that the sun is setting and these fish might be coming up shallow to feed. Overnight catfishing session at the pond right next to your place. This is a nice little guest suite, you guys. I'm gonna leave Todd and Beck alone. We just left the pond. I'm trying to be nice and quiet because this is a guest room, Airbnb, and it's absolutely sick, actually. And uh, yeah, we got kicked out, picked him up from the airport, caught some fish, showed you guys the dango kit, which is what this video is really all about, and wanna thank Catchco for sponsoring today's episode. Be sure to check out not only Becca's, but also Todd's channel linked down in the description. I'll try and include some social medias for you guys to check out. They're getting ready to hit the hay. He's had a long day of travel. She's had a long day of, I don't know, catching fish, editing, I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> all of our butts. Yeah, so we're gonna try and keep things down for the owners here. And uh, yeah, we'll skedaddle and see y'all in the next episode. Peace. <gasps>